As the news of building a new mosque in Carmel has brought much debate, our very own Miss Safi has been in the center of this. She has been on NPR, did many interviews, and we decided to talk with her to know more about what it finally took to have the approval in order to build a mosque in Carmel. The Muslim community in Carmel wanted to buy a piece of land, and they had struggled for four years just to get someone to actually sell land to them that we can actually build a mosque on. And I think one of the biggest struggles that we had was it wasn't simply just us trying to buy land and build a mosque. It was unfortunately quite a few misconceptions into play and people just simply not wanting a mosque in that area. I think the most challenging thing that we went through was the severe lack of understanding of who Muslims are, what Islam is. Um, for a lot of people, unfortunately, it wasn't one of those issues where it was a very clear-cut thing. And when people would hear mosque, or Muslims, they would just literally either put the price up on us. In some cases, we had one person literally raise the price on us by 400000 When we did not go away, and we said, okay, we'll, we'll work with you on that, he took the, the land completely off the market. Quite a few families in Carmel who truly want it to be home for them, and for it to be home for them, that means that they should have all of those all amenities that most people have, which is, you know, a church or a synagogue. Well, we would like also to have our mosques there because our community is big enough and, and needs one. We're hoping to break ground within the next year. Um, one of the first things that we do have to do is get a lot of vegetation, trees there, make that land beautiful before we actually start full development. I was very surprised at the number of youth that came out and spoke up and were taking a very active role doesn't matter how old you are, you can absolutely make a difference just by simply speaking up. For HSC-TV, this has been Best Man Grinder.